Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you guys are absolutely smashing the support. Thank you all so much for the support, man. We are on our way to 34,000 subs. Subscribers, thank you all so much. Appreciate every one of you, man. We're going to do the daily routine and, uh, you know, the daily, daily routine right there. And shout out to the person that commented on the latest video, which is the main man, Axel, bro. Absolute beast. Nice. Always commenting uh, first right there, man. Uh, he's been on first a couple of times, man. I won't lie. Uh, I think probably 70% of videos. So if you want to get featured, all you got to do is comment first on my latest video or be the first to comment. And uh, maybe beat some uh, beat Axel right there. Danny was almost close to beating him. But shout out to Main Man Axel, man. But yeah, by the way, boys, who is excited for this game right here? A bit of a change of video. <laughs> this is, by the way, um, this game I've been waiting so long to play it. Leave it in the comments, though. But you guys are not here to see me absolutely waffle. We are here to basically explain uh, the most meta formation right now, in my personal opinion, uh, right there, man. It is actually the 3 4 2 1. Now, this is the current team I'm rocking. Obviously, I don't have crouch right there bro by the way is bros for some reason crouch is is still doing so well for me it, it's so weird i know it, it looks very very bad that i am a meta player you know but i'm using crouch bro 255 goals i always say this man is insane for me man i don't know why his step overs and his finishing just is insane you know that's the type of game we are playing um you know you can use those type of non-conventional players uh like i still was gold holland and he's still still, still insane uh, against me but yeah as you can see we are rocking this team. I actually had Lafont at goalkeeper, but um, yeah, we actually played a uh, three back this um, weekend, and it was actually from this main man. I will shout him out. I just need to try and find his tweet. We go. I found. By the way, check me out on all social medias uh, at MetamikeFUT right there man appreciate your boys but yeah as you can see Michael Fisher right there. Uh, definitely try give him a follow. I think he's a pro player if I'm not mistaken. Uh, player for Scotland as you can see. Yeah, FIFA 22 top two FGS. That's really really good man. Uh, but yeah, as you can see. Pro player, he has actually shouted out this formation, which is the 3421 custom tactics and instructions. And um, it's a current meta alongside the 4321, which is the 3CF1. So we're going to obviously sh um, shout him out. And then, yeah, this is the formation I've been using, which I will show you right now. I literally just went into it, bro. Like, I did not use any other formations. And I did finish decent. I think I was rank 3 or 4. So yeah, 3, 4, 2, 1, balance style, as you can see right there. We got the likes of depth. Now, I did play around with it. Apparently, if you're struggling with defense, they said 50 depth is always, sorry, not 50, 55 depth is always the best way to play around with men. Um, they said it's the most balanced. So I don't know about that. Just check it out. So this does um, work for new gen and old gen. You know, it's the same thing. But 72 depth, in my opinion, is perfect because I think this is the point where the defense go up a little bit. Uh, kind of like an offside trap thing. I could be wrong. Leave it in the comments. But apparently that is uh, what they said. Uh, but the guy, Michael Fisher, has said that 72... I'm sorry, 70 depth is what he plays. So you can obviously tweak it according to how you feel. If you see your depth is your players are a bit too far in front or too back, just tweak it, you know what I mean? That's the beauty of instructions, bros. But um, definitely 72 depth works for me. And uh, build up play, balanced. I just always like to keep it balanced. It just is the meta, you know. A lot of pros don't really play around with this feature because they kind of do their own build up play. So it kind of depends on you if you obviously want to go play long ball. Uh, I think with this feature, though, they, they they make runs that are a bit weird, you know? So it just depends, bro. It depends. But uh, direct pass is another one that a lot of pros use and a lot of pros um, love. So I don't think you really need to change it, you know what I mean? I always use direct passing because it allows for me to do those quick one-twos and uh, it goes directly to the player. But passing in this game is absolutely woeful, boys. Let's just be completely honest. Passing in this game is not the greatest. Uh, so, yeah. And also a good thing is... Pressing RB, always using your R1 or RB to pass because it obviously makes that like a uh, fast driven pass and it's always um, really, really meta and uh, it gets it gets the players going, you know what I mean? Because if you're just pressing, especially if a player's turned, like if he's, um, if, he got, if he continues with the ball or he just got the ball and, he pre and you press A, the pass is very, very inaccurate after that, if that makes sense. I'm hoping I'm making sense right there, man, but you guys know exactly. Just passing overall, just know he's not the best. So direct passing does help with that. We got the likes of width, which is 50. It's just always going to be balanced. Uh, and this is just kind of your own preference, if that makes sense. So it just kind of depends. Like if you are getting caught on the counters when you're doing free kicks, 
then just make it one or make it two uh the absolute minimum but uh, it's always nice to have it on three uh because you need more players in the box man so if you are playing maybe attack formation you can make it two four or five just depends i just like to have it on two i don't like getting counted uh that's the worst way to score or concede right there man uh but yeah not to score sorry to concede but yeah we got corners being on three now i actually did play around with this and i felt like Actually, having more players in the box is a much more efficient thing in terms of corners, obviously, Mike. But um, I did actually have this one on five. It was on five, uh, but I did obviously move it one up. And I've noticed even that one player can make a difference. That one player, boys, can make a difference. So it's very, very vital that you do tweak this. Uh, but just don't make sure that you don't obviously get counted and have too much players in the box right there. And also sometimes what I've noticed is on defense, there's always going to be so much plays in the box, especially if you're doing free kicks or corners right there, man. So you don't want to also counter that with having a lot of plays in their box. So it's also nice to have plays outside the box, you know, if you want to do a Trivela, uh, etc. So that's a very, very vital thing, in my opinion. So just go balance, man. It's always the best to go balance, bros, uh, right there. So, yeah, I feel like this uh, formation, though, does definitely tweak um, everything, bro. Like, you got the likes of insane attackers if you have like i mean look at my team i've got jorginho messi smolarek stoichkov now messi for me is probably the most vital player in this team because the one twos with the direct passing and as well as the travela shots is absolutely phenomenal man so what i've actually noticed is uh, when i play him on the left hand side uh, i score more travelas but when i'm playing on the uh, right hand side obviously he scores more finesses so it just depends if you like travelas or finesses you can obviously choose uh, between the two right there but uh yeah as you can see i've got the likes of sergio ramos um i kind of played around with it so i think you're more fast center backs uh it also depends on weak foot so you can just tweak it around uh, i don't really care about that but i, I obviously add the most uh fast play so i'll actually have it going like that uh because sergio ramos is probably the best player out of all of them have him in the center it just makes sense uh obviously to intercept um right there if the players are attacking you from the middle right there that makes sense so yeah jump over to the instructions now obviously you don't need instructions for your center backs they completely stay back while attacking normal but your goalkeeper though what i've noticed is sweeper keeper and comes for crosses is very very effective i think that was actually what his one was um that michael fisher guy so i was like actually yeah this, this works this works you know comes for crosses in terms of um the corners in terms of everything bro so yeah sweeper keeper as well this is one that if you don't like your keeper coming out a lot just don't have this man because sometimes it can really really be weird uh if, if, especially if he's coming out already and you're holding in why chances are that it could glitch out and the guy gets the ball quickly scores a tap in bro that's what happened to me multiple times this weekend so in my opinion sorry i hit the mic right there uh, in my opinion, I feel like I'm going to leave it balanced right there because it did sort of do some weird things, man. But yeah, we got the likes of the CMs. Now, these are your most vital CMs. Now, one thing I've noticed with this formation is you need a ball winner, bro. And I don't have one, bro. Like, that is why I was conceding so much. Three back is obviously not your necessary formation to defend. It is a very good attacking formation. But three back, bro, you need you need that, like, Vieira you need that root bullet, that ball winner in your CMs. And I don't have one, which I will get probably in the future over Belagarde because Zidane, oh my good God. Boys, the Zidane is the best card I've ever done. I think probably top five best cards I've done in FIFA, bro. He is so good, boys. Trust me, I put him in a CM and he just absolutely dominates that in terms of those quick passes, dribbles, outside the box finesses, trivelas, even scores headers, bro. And uh, especially if you run down the wings and uh, flank, this man is amazing with that, man. So yeah, do bear in mind, do his SPC. Trust me on that. We got the likes of striker Del Glish, recently packed. He was okay, bro. Five-star weak foot was obviously nice. Uh, he scored a couple of goals here and there. But I definitely think in this formation, you need a big body, bro. Um, like the likes, maybe of even Mbappe, Haaland, those type of players. You know, Del Glish is more of a cam, in my personal opinion. Even Jorginho could play at striker. By the way, Jorginho, in my opinion, was actually wasted at the uh, Lamb spot. Is that Lamb? It is Lamb, right? Or it's just Cam. I'll call it a Cam where Messi and Jorginho is currently situated. Uh, yeah, I definitely think Jorginho, if you have him playing striker, trust me, you're going to love it, bro. Unless you that guy that runs down the lines and um, cuts in, 
and just quickly passes, you know, those sweaty goals, then Jorginho can play on the wings. But uh, yeah, as you can see, my two CMs, by the way, I'm sorry about the instruction things. I have not even explained. Um, you got to have both of them stay back because it's three back. Both of them have to stay back and cover center. Let's be honest. You don't want to have one that is a box to box because then you just left with three players, bro. Literally just left with three players. You know, you need defenders right there. We got the likes of the left mid and right mid. They are come back on defense, get into the box for cross. That's what Michael Fisher said. It worked for me. Get into the box is always good, especially for your wingers. Um, because, you know, you can literally treat Vela. Finesse, you know what I mean? Uh, finesse. <laughs> Bro, and then the cams. Now, if you have very good cams, you can leave them on balance because they do the job, man. Uh, you don't want them on coming back on defense, etc. Because Messi's stamp is not that great. So, bear in mind with the... Uh, with the cams right there. Shazin is also on, uh, stay, uh, on balance, sorry. Striker, the very last one is stay central. Get in behind. I love, I absolutely love the get in behind feature with the El Glish because, yeah, he just makes those runs, you know. Even bloody, even um, Crouch did that for me, bros. Literally, like, the get in behind feature for Crouch is amazing because he's so tall and he can obviously do the step overs and quickly finish, man. That guy's top speed is amazing for me. I have no idea why. Bro, I'm using 85 Crouch in January, bro. That is crazy, bro. <laughs> I actually think he could even be better than El Glish, bro. That is the video. Bruh. Hopefully this has helped you. I obviously do one formation. Tell me if you want to see another formation in the future or if you like these formation videos. Hopefully it does help you guys, you know. So try it out. Tell me what it is. And obviously if you guys are seeing that your defense is lacking, then you're not a good player. Nah, I'm joking. <laughs> I definitely think maybe put one cam one stay back or, or come back on defense. You should be good to go. But yeah, that is basically my tactics hopefully you guys do enjoy that video smash like subscribe tell me if you have packed the totty we'll check you guys in the very next one i have not as well by the way cheers boys